After a little uproar last week, I feel I need to remind some of you out there that this show consists of our opinions. If you want the top rated submissions for each day, you can simply visit the workshop page as there is a filter for just that. If you weren't aware of our format before, well, now you know. It's also why every single week I start off by saying, here are our five favorite workshop items for the past week in no particular order. First we have the Malicious Riffling set for Puck, created by Private Rowan. It comes with four items that give Puck a little color, which I feel past sets have been sorely lacking. I'm not sure what's so malicious about this set, as it seems it's been inspired by the very non-malicious butterfly. Next is the Merciless Flame Armor set for Doom, created by Red Kita for the Nexon League. It comes with seven items that give Doom a very heavy-duty metallic look. I'm not sure if it can be considered an easter egg, but if you look closely it seems as if there's a demonic face lodged into the back of his head. Third is the Supernova Courier for Rave, created by Red Kita for the Nexon League. I have no clue what this animal is, but it's certainly unique. Rave, of course, is a team that shocked the Dota 2 world by coming out of nowhere and placing really well at DAC. Here's hoping we'll see more items for this team in the future. Speaking of tournaments, Star Ladder has two sets that will round out the rest of this episode. First is the Grey Knight set for Omni, created by Katsyaim Sack, Sith Happens, and Acapulco. It comes with five items that make Omni Knight look like an old man with shiny armor. From what I've seen, this is certainly one of the better Omni sets to come about. And the last set of this episode, also for Star Ladder, is the Armor of the Endless Purgatory set for Terrorblade, created by the always impressive duo of Dota FX and Wei Z, with Horse Strangler and Particles. It comes with five items that make Terrorblade look pretty awesome. His normal form gives him some very detailed looking wings, while in Metamorphosis, which is the real seller in my opinion, the particles inside his chest just look plain sick. 